Hey, it's Adrian here over BHA bringing you a quick video. Uh, Alright, so I was at Walmart the other day and I hit the clearance aisle because I'm always checking to see if there's anything on sale and I ran across these guys. They're uh, in CPO uh, smart bulb adapters and uh, this is a uh, wireless smart outlet. Uh, they were only like seven bucks, so super cheap. I uh, figured uh, no, it was worth it to at least try them out and see if I could get them working with Home Assistant. And uh, the downside is, is these guys uh, they own they have a uh, a smart app called Command Kit, and they work with Apple Home Kit, and that's really about it. So uh, you can't just add them a, a, as a component in Home Assistant or anything and expect them to work because that's not going to happen. But we have a little workaround as long as you have HomeBridge uh, configured. And if uh, you haven't, I'll put a link to my tutorial at the end of the video on how to uh, configure HomeBridge so that you can use, uh, you know, you can communicate between Apple HomeKit and Home Assistant. I've, I've set up two of these smart bulb adapters in my uh, bedroom uh, for bedroom lamps, just to kind of give you an idea of what I've done. All right, so let's get started. So in our configuration.yaml file for Home Assistant, uh, I've basically created two input booleans, one for uh, each bedroom lamp that I've put the adapters on. So I've got those highlighted here. You can see uh, that's mine and my wife's bedroom lamp. So you create those input booleans, and then we're, of course we're going to save our, our file and uh, reboot uh, Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. Since we've created uh, input booleans for Home Assistant, we need to make sure that those are also defined in our HomeBridge configuration so that whenever uh, you know we go to HomeKit, we can see those input booleans in our um, Home Hub or Home App. All right, for the most part, we're done with uh, the home assistant side of things. We're gonna everything else we're gonna do is gonna be on our um, everything else we're gonna do is gonna be in uh, the home hub or the home app on uh, on your iPad or your, uh, Apple TV, however you have yours set up. So let's go ahead and move over there. All right, so here we are on uh, on my home hub, which is an iPad. And you can see I have uh, the two um, input booleans that I created uh, on the uh, on the left side there, and then the two actual um, smart bulb adapters, um, which are already defined in the Apple HomeKit there on the right side. So what we need to do is we're instead of creating our automations on uh, Home Assistant like you normally would, we're creating automations in uh, Apple's uh, Home HomeKit. So we're going to go down here and we're an accessory is going to be controlled. So it's that third one down. We'll select that. And we're going to say, all right, so if our um, input Boolean is uh, select, or, you know, if it's turned on, then we want to uh, turn on the light bulb. So uh, down at the bottom, we're going to, or, you know, so we're going to click the light bulb for the second part of it next 
and make sure for turn on uh, down at there at the bottom it says turn on okay we're good and hit done there and we're basically we're gonna do another one for turning it off so you're gonna have two automations for each adapter not a whole lot uh, a little clunky but not too bad so uh, turn off and select our bulb again hit next make sure it says turn off which it already does by default and hit done all right we'll I'll do those for uh, the other lamp select the bulb yep make again make sure it says turn on down there The bulb, yep. There we go. That's our four automations. All right, so now that we got the automations all defined, let's uh, test it out and see what it looks like. All right, so here on the left, of course, I have our GUI for Home Assistant, and on the right, I have our home uh, home app, so you can uh, we'll be able to see things turn on and off. So let's flip that switch on for my lamp. Second, bam, there it is. Both of them turned on. That's what we want. Like I said here, if you flip the input boolean on on the uh, on the home app, you'll see it turn everything on this way as well. So there, it flipped the light bulb on here, and uh, and in Home Assistant, it turned the light on there too. So everything stays in sync as long as you use that input boolean. And that is. The end of this quick video like i said it's uh, not a not a hard thing to do i mean like i said normally you're using the home bridge to manage home assistant devices with siri this is a way for you to be able to control devices that are supported by HomeKit and not supported by uh, home assistant at least you can still actually manage them in home assistant for your one centralized location I uh, hope you like the video. If you do, certainly like my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. And, um, you know, uh, let me know if there's any tutorials or videos you guys are looking for. I can certainly try to put something together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.